Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's agenda, we will discuss how we can use a debug log in web method. So before that, if you guys are new in my channel, so please subscribe, like, share and comment. Also click on bell icon so that I'm uploading the videos on this channel on daily basis. So you'll get notified. So let's start the demo. So basically debug log we can use if you want to write a message to the server log. In that case, we use a debug log. And this is also interview type of question because if you are a beginner in web method, so you can note it down. So each debug log message contains the timestamp, message ID, function name, and a message field. So we'll discuss in details. So let's start the demo. Okay, so here I just first create one flow service by using this option new and flow service. Here I'll give the user defined name debug service. Then finish. So now you can see here the empty flow got created. Here I'll take one input test value. Also take one output message. Now I'll save the demo so that you will see the pipeline. Okay. So here I'll take one branch step with respect to switch case by using the switch case. So guys, if you not uh, like saw the video, how we can use a branch step uh, by using the switch case. So the video already uploaded on my channel. So you can you also watch first, you must watch particular video so i just click on the branch tip here i'll define the evaluate label property as a false and in switch case i'll define my variable okay so i'll do one thing i'll copy the test value from input and output so i just right click and copy here i'll give first forward slash and then paste it okay so now we define the branch as a switch case now i'll uh, take a debug log service this is an inbuilt service and which is available in wm public package okay so i just right click insert and here you can see i already use this debug log uh, debug flow service in a previous demonstration that's why it's available here so if you want to invoke from this option if you are uh, new in the uh, particular option so just write uh, just click on the invoke option type it debug okay debug no service you can you know from this option as well because it's already available pub dot low colon debug c and the service is available so i just right click so I like double click ok now this service i required four times so i just copy it first then i'll paste it Also, I'll select the, all these inbuilt services, debug log, and move to right by clicking this button. Okay. Now, here I'll define the message. So, you can hard code it by double click this particular message option. Also, click on the three dots, and here you can uh, enter a valuable message. okay so before that like message i'll print as the value is true
before that this is a switch case so i need to define the label value here i'll define the true then in function i'll set as a value function label as a info then the second log also i'll define push label false and here i'll define the message the value is false function as a function and level as a info similar to third step but here if to like above the case not satisfied then the default log will execute default sequence a default service get execute so i just click on the particular service and in label i'll set a property yeah i'll set a value as a dollar default so if the condition not match then this particular service get execute here message i'll enter a message as value is neither true nor false then function i'll hard code it as a function and label as a info and in third debug log i'll set a label property as a dollar null if user not entered any value in that case it will execute this service in message i'll mention as the value was not provided function as value function label as a info if you want to drop the unwanted variable those variable you don't require so real time you can drop it so you can take one map step here the function we don't require so i just drop it and this map i'll give the comment drop the variable So now I'll just run the all the all the four logs. Before that, I need to save the demo. Just right click empty space. Em just right click on empty space and run as a flow service. Here I'll give the value as a true. Now here you can see the message. The value is true because we already hard coded the message. The value is true. again i'll execute this second service here i'll give the name as a false then you can see the output the value is false we'll discuss about the third service here i'll give the another name like instead of true and false i'll give the name as a false one now you can see the, the value is neither true or false i like this third sequence executed because the previous one like above step not uh, much that's why the default service get executed okay now we can see the fourth log here user not entered any value so i'm not entering any value like null string now you can see the output like the value was not provided okay so those log we can like we can 
see yeah you can show like you but basically debug log we can use to write the messages on a server log so first i'll log in the server It requires some times. It requires some time, so please wait. Now this log twenty four seven twelve one, but we required a current log. Like current log, not the show on the server. So before that, uh, I need to check some properties because. this property we select as a none that's why the this debug log yeah, this message is not printed here not wrote on a particular server so i just this uh, debug log property i'll set as a save then i'll save the demo first then i'll log in the integration then i'll log in integration server then i'll refresh the particular server and then i'll check the logs Okay, guys. Please wait a while. I'm just checking what went wrong here. Okay, so I just uh, debug the pipe. Like uh, I save the property as a pipe and debug save. Then I need to run the service again so that I can see the particular output or particular messages on server. so the value was not provided so now i'll log in the integration server then i'll check you can see the time stamp this function and this is a value so guys that's all about today's demonstration here we'll discuss yeah here yeah, i already discuss about how we can use a debug log in web method so guys if you uh, like this video so then please share subscribe and comment and also if you have any query any doubt concern you can uh, let me know in comment section have a great day and have a fun stay happy stay connected